this video, I'm going to explain to you about geometrical isomerism in cyclic compounds. Not all cyclic compounds show geometrical isomerism. To be more clear with this one, here we have two examples. Consider these two cyclic compounds. This one is your 1,1 one, one, dimethyl cyclopropane. C. The first one does not show geometrical isomerism, whereas the second one does show a geometrical isomerism. The reason is that these two groups are on the same ring carbon atom. That's why it does not show geometrical isomerism, whereas in the second one, the two groups are on different ring carbon atoms. That's why it shows a geometrical isomerism. So, a requirement for geometrical isomerism in cyclic compounds is that there must be at least two other groups besides hydrogens on the ring, and these two must be on different ring carbon atoms. Okay? So, that's why only this one shows a geometrical isomerism, whereas this one does not show a geometrical isomerism because the two groups are on the same ring carbon atom. Geome geometrical isomerism is also known as a what? Cis trans isomerism. Okay, so here we have this compound. Consider 1, 2, dimethyl. Cyclopropane. This one exists in two isomeric forms. See? One is the cis form and the other one is the trans form. If the similar groups are on the same side of the ring, this is your cis form. Now, if the similar groups are on the opposite sides of the ring, then it is a trans form. So, this one is a cis 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopropane. Cis 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopropane. And this one is your trans 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopropane. These two are the isomeric forms of 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopropane. So this is all about the geometrical isomerism in cyclic compounds.